I have this tab bent up. I don't really need it anymore. I was doing some adjusting on the door. So I'm gonna reach down here and depress the latch. And that's without even having the popper installed. It takes a little bit to close it right. I mean, you're gonna have to give it the ump, right? But that, more adjustments to come later. So I'll try to show you. All this stuff out of the way. And sit down. Okay. So there's my door latch. This is the strike face. And then right over there is the bolt. So you gotta get that stuff. Sorry. This is I can zoom. You just have to get that to where it lines up in the center. Once your bolt is in the center, then it's it's good to go. So here's a different view. We just want to make sure that this bolt is lined up in the center of the lock mechanism. I went ahead and cut these two tabs off of the outside. I don't really need them. You know, we can put the door panel piece back over there and cover that up. But then to open. It's kind of <clears throat> it kind of auto pops itself. I don't know where I'm going to put the popper spring mechanism thingy yet, but that's for later. I was trying to go over the list of everything there is left to do just on this door. And then I stop because there's so much. So we know the window fits. The window power window unit fits. I gotta install the door popper, right? Because this is what's gonna open the door. This is, this is what's going to open the door. So you hit the button, unlock, hit the button, door pops open. When you're outside the truck. <clears throat> when you're inside the truck, there'll be a manual release to pop it open with. Probably going to move that up here. That way when you open the door, you push like that and it'll pop out. Or I could leave it there, push, and it'll still pop out. We'll see. <clears throat> but that's electronics. That that comes way later. But welding and all the other stuff, we're gonna do that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and refit the window motor and then get this thing fitted up and maybe even pop it with a hot lead and watch it work. It seems to have some adjustability to it. It's got some weight to it so that's good. <clears throat> It'll help you close the door.
I'm going to swing it closed so you can see the clearance. That's fully down. This thing is in the way. Fix that too. Probably gonna <clears throat> probably run something behind here to keep this from swinging back and forth. But that comes later. <clears throat> so this thing runs with a cable. think just something like this will be just fine the door curves in more and gets narrower down here it's fatter up here so this <clears throat> you know we want it to pull this way or down going to pop down like this. top of that motor is in this groove Probably just hammer this out. So it doesn't interfere.
16 gauge. Go ahead and weld the nuts on the back. That way you ain't gotta try to fish around. And I'm just gonna stick it right here for now. I thought about building the plate all the way up. Uh, but then again, this will also work. So we're just gonna tack it into place. So, it's a cable, right? I just drill a hole through there. And a hole like this to pop that thing open. Think. So this, and this, this is all part of the kit with the hinges from Auto Lock. It comes with a release switch. It's just a cable sheet, so you know we can run this through this through the hole right here, so the wire the cable doesn't bind up. This just looks like derailleur cable or brake cable from a 10 speed. They did flux the ends though. So this is a ground wire, this is a hot lead. Careful, you're gonna zap yourself. It says, put a little slack in there. And then when I hit it, watch this. So it works. Less interference now over here. Got plenty of space for that. I still have to mount a automatic door lock. Put the locks up here. Got the door hooked back up. I think it pops pretty good, just like it is. I finished welding this in. Finished welding in the door latch post. Let me see what we're going to talk about. Damn it. I do not like this thing. I don't understand it. Okay. Got to get a power lock 
actuator in here. I think I have some more space. I can tie in some more of this. I mean, I don't have I don't have that much more flex, but I mean, I'm moving the whole truck. You see the truck moving. There's a big rust line on the bottom that has to get repaired. Fill the old door handle hole. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the lock hole. There's only one, right? There's not one on the driver's door, so. Oh, I got to take these hinge mounts off. Fill those. There's still a lot of work to do on this door. Then I gotta pull it all apart, blast it, prep it. I gotta get weather stripping. But that's it for today. I gotta clean all this mess up. Get the shop organized because it's been a wreck the whole week. And then get back at it tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Take care, stay well. Stay six feet apart, get vaccinated, help somebody if you can.